If you're near them, you will hear them. All right, I got it. A collection of comrades from East Catholic High in Manchester. Team name, Eidos Dios. It means Eagle to Zeus. Robotics team assemble. Got it. And there was plenty of assembly required. It's a combination of kids from all over the world. We have Brazil, China, and uh, Turkey. And local kids too, yeah. They are an underdog story. A dozen team members, half of them exchange students. Gyroscopically driven. Courtesy of their modern mass of metal named Michael. Just Michael. That's it, yeah. Michael. We just came out randomly. Underfunded but overly ambitious, the students built their bot in record time. Most teams take months. These kids, they did it in just three weeks this past winter. Practicing in Plantsville today, Barry Curcio is a coach and mentor. Got together with the students and said, we're going to make you guys work like you've never worked before, and they were willing to do it. Now among the tops in bots, they began entirely grassroots. They put all the pieces together, and the team took their project to another level. Exchange student and senior Daniel Wang is team founder. We started to have no experience, no budgets, and even our, our robot is built with a ladder. Climbing the ladder, Michael began winning local competitions by squarely focusing on the cubes. They had to take a cube, uh, it's like a milk crate. And we were supposed to grab them and put them in the switch. The team that is most effective on putting the cubes into the switch and, and scale wins. They won two district events. Then they made it to Boston for the regional event, and then they made it to Worlds for the World Championships in Detroit. A rookie international team now on the international stage. No medals to take home, but representing at the World Championships last month, they say it was all about the experience. And this team continues to roll. It's nothing I've ever experienced before. I would never imagine that we will have made like this far. We went to wars in our first year. That, that's impressive. That's amazing. I told the kids at one point after our first competition, if you've ever talked to a surfer or met a surfer, they've got this thing called the perfect wave. They'll ride it once in their lifetime and never see it again. And what you guys did this season is that perfect wave. In Southington. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. And the team has one more big event left, the Walcott Invitational, which is tomorrow. We wish them the best of yeah, luck. Yes, do. we do. What Quite a monumental a story. effort, too, because not only did they have just a short time to put their bots together, but they had money to raise yeah, as they well, had right? all these great sponsors, and they raised about $40,000 over the course of the that's school year incredible. to make the trips happen, to make the robot go. The robot, by the way, guys, that's like a ladder they cut in half from Home Depot. That's <laughs> impressive, that. though. You want to talk about being uh, ingenuitive. Yeah. That, that is it. Well, they're smart. They're driven, obviously, for putting this all together, too. So well done, and good luck tomorrow. Good luck. Eidos Dios. Good job. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy.